Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be covering scabies. This is going to be a very short video, and I bet myself I can do it in under five minutes, but let's see. Before we get started, guys, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and don't forget I have audio lessons available on my website at nexusnursinginstitute.com. All right, so let's look at scabies. Here, scabies, guys. Scabies is an endemic infestation caused by the scabies mite. The lesions are created as impregnated female burrows. This is a key word, guys. When you look at these test questions, you see that word burrow? Scabies need to be on top of your list of what you're thinking about. The female mite, it burrows into the stratum uh, corneum of the epidermis of the skin, never into the living tissue, okay? And it burrows its egg to deposit their egg and feces. The inflammatory response causes intense itching. So the patient's going to be very itchy and that leads to punctate discrete excoriation secondary to the itching. So what happens guys, that patient may get a secondary bacterial infection from scratching so much that you know, they've disrupted that skin layer and now bacteria or whatever the pathogen is has entered into the system and they have a secondary infection. Because again, um, when as the, the mite burrows its egg into that patient's skin, it is very itchy for the patient. Maculopapular lesions are characteristically distributed into inter trigenous areas. Let me tell you what that means. That intertrigenous area, they talk about skin folds. So when you're looking for um, scabies in the patient, here's where you tend to see it. Between the fingers and the digits, in the armpits, um, between the, in the groin area, um, behind their knees, where you find those skin folds. That's where we tend to see. Take a look, guys. The observer must look for discrete papules, burrows, or vesicles. And I put a little thing here just to let you know. Papules, burrows, you better be thinking of scabies, all right? Scabies is transmitted primarily through prolonged, look at this, close personal contact, and it affects persons regardless of the age, the sex, personal hygiene, socioeconomic status. Nursing care management, the drug of choice. The drug of choice in children and infants older than two, month, two months is the permethrin 5% elamite. That's a cream. Alternative drugs are 10% um, cro crotamiton, cream or lotion, or oral um, ivermectin. Here's the thing about the oral ivermectin, guys. Take a look at what it says. It says oral ivermectin and oral medication, it can be used to treat scabies in patients with secondary excoriations for whom topical um, scabicides are irritating. So if that patient has, you know, that that area has just been very irritated. They've been scratching it a lot. Well, it's already irritated. So if they put that scabicide on, it's going to be very, very painful. So those patients that may have, you know, excoriations, ivermectin may be a better choice. But our drug of choice, our go-to, what we're going to try first is going to be that uh, permethrin 5%, okay? All persons who are in close contact with the affected child needs treatment. So what does that tell us, everybody in the household? Enough medication for the entire family should be prescribed with two ounces allowed for each adult and one ounce for each child. And guys, that is your scabies in a nutshell. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you'd like to, me, like to see me cover more of. And don't forget, I have audio lessons available on my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com. Every Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I release a video where I cover nursing questions. I teach you how to answer the questions. I teach you how to eliminate wrong answer choices. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys catch me on the next video.